Hi, this is Tim. We're going to go through today and learn how to make loops using the grid, using the snap, and using hotspots to be able to make perfect loops of a live recording such as this. This is a drum session that we did here earlier this year. Take a listen to what we're working with. Now I've already determined that measure 15 through 17 is what we're going to be looping, that range right there. So first couple things to prepare and show you through some of the tools is we want to make sure all of these objects are, are grouped together. Hit my hotkey and they're now grouped. So everything that we do to one happens to all of them so that way they follow perfectly along and the loop stays together nicely. Now a couple buttons here. There is a button for uh, beat and grid snapping. It's right here as well as it's also on the grid toolbar, as well as you can set up hotkeys to go back and forth between them. So without it, obviously we need to see the grid, but without having the actual grid um, snap, snap active, wherever we place the cursor, it can be in the middle anywhere and not necessarily on the actual grid. Right now the grid's set up to bars and beats because obviously we're making loops so we want to do that and it's set up to eighth note resolution. So you have beat one of the 14th measure, beat two, beat three, beat four, but you also have the eighth note line in between them. So as I zoom in you can see it a little bit more. Now turning the cut tool on, the scissor tool on the actual mouse, uh, it moves freely if you put the actual grid and snap active on, then wherever you move the cursor, it is snapping in place to it. Now, wherever you make a cut, it cuts right on the actual grid. If you hold down the Alt key, it temporarily turns off the snap active and you can cut anywhere you want. Just let go of the Alt key and we're back to the cutting right on the snap. Now, if you want to, say, undo a, a bunch of cuts that you made and you haven't moved any of the objects whatsoever, go back to your normal curs cursor mode, select the first object, select the last object while holding down the shift, so everything's selected, and then you can choose Heal, Object, Heal, and all of those cuts are now gone. So, now let's take a look at the actual part we want to loop. Now we have the snap active on, so our cut is going to go from the 17, back down to 15. Let's kill everything after that so we're only paying attention to our loop. Now if this is a perfect loop and it sounds perfect and we can actually set up a, a, a range and then hit loop playback and just listen to it. Seems like it's okay so we can just play and open the object editor turn the loop button on. You also can set up a hotkey for that so you don't even have to open that window. If you notice they all say loop Let's turn the change color off. Now, as soon as I just drag this, it just opens up the loop over and over again. So every time I hit play, we're just hearing a loop of the same thing. Okay, but there's a little bit of a click in it, so let's undo the loop. Let's go back to 17 scissor tool and let's cut it again. Now at the very end, because I imagine that's where the click is happening, let's actually shorten the loop area. Let's go to the very beginning of the loop and now we're going to take it, we're going to open it up past the beginning and right at 15, which is going to be our marker for us making loops and copying and pasting and having it always line up perfectly in time. At 15, we want to put a thing called a hotspot. A hotspot is a marker that holds where we want the actual downbeat to be at. And really, you can put it anywhere. You can put it on an eighth note, second beat, anywhere. Wherever you want to put the hotspot. For now, we're going to put it right at 15. So we go up to Object, Set Hotspot. And again, there's a hotkey for this. Now, if I turn off the grid, you'll see a dotted line where the hotspot marker is to let you know that that's where the actual marker is. So if I actually drag this around, it'll snap using the double line. So we put the grid back on, you can really see it. it snaps perfectly every time. So let's grab and make a copy over to 17. 
Let's take a listen to that and see how it's going to sound. Absolutely perfectly clean. So let's make another copy. Get lots of copies. We could actually select multiples. Drag that. And that's it. We are up and running.